Hey guys, good morning. It's Christy Munoz with Lawyers Title and Title Talk and it is Monday morning coffee with Christy. And remember, we're talking about the five things to do to avoid title issues. Last week we talked about the statement of information. This week we wanna talk about the power of attorney. So if your client is utilizing a power of attorney, there are a few things that we're going to need to know. First of all, why are they using it instead of signing for themselves? Second of all, what does the form look like that they decided to use? And third of all, if those two things get approved, where's the original so that we can record it at closing? So again, if you're using a power of attorney, okay, but communicate early with your title company those three things. Why are you using it? What does the format look like? And where in the heck is the original when it comes to recording? You guys go out and make a great week and we'll see you next Monday.